Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video is gonna talk about something known as peer dependency. We have already talked about debt dependency, dependency in the previous videos and I hope it is clear. Uh, if you haven't watched that videos, go ahead and watch that first then come back to it to understand it better, right? So let's talk about dependencies first. Dependency are the packages or you know uh, uh, modules on which a package depends or our app depends, right? But peer dependency is something that we require uh, when you're developing a library, right? For example, you can develop two things, right? You can develop your app, you can develop your library that will have a package.json file. Both of them will have package.json file. But if you're developing an app, you don't really need a peer dependency, right? But when you're developing a library that will be used by other app developers or other library developers then you might need a peer dependency this concept is not very popular among the library developers and there's just mysteries out uh, along with semantic versioning but let's just see what does it mean and how it is useful to us right so if you go to our package.json right now we find there is only one dependency right but the scenario is you want to bring a dependency known as react dom renders uh, react dom renders our uh, component that is given by react right so react dom is a renderer so when i go to react dom's uh, react website and go to react dom package which is based out in react right and it's published as react dom right so if i go to package.json of this particular uh, react dom let it open it, it's having a bit slow i don't know why but let's see yeah once it opens up there you will find there is something known as peer dependency out here that tells react 18 to 0. what does it mean it means that if i'm mentioning a packet.json if i'm mentioning a peer dependency i want my library users I repeat again my library users whoever using my library right again we have talked about if you are developing an app no need of it you are developing a library it is needful right but when you're developing a app right my library you are consuming or you're developing a library and you're consuming my library i mentioned this peer dependency out here this means that you need to have dependency on your end i will not bring this dependency but this dependency is required on your end. It tells the host app or host library to have the dependency on your end. This is simply what means, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and re install React DOM, right? Whenever you do so, if something is mentioned in peer dependency, the NPM will go in our package.json and find, find that is it available in our package.json or not. If yes, it is fine. If not, it usually gives a warning out here. It usually gives warning out here. It says added five packages. As you see, but it doesn't gives any warning, right? Apart from any you know, security or severity vulnerability, but it doesn't give any peer dependency warning, right? That because we are using a version of NPM that could be uh, configured to not give the warning. If you go to the this particular website, and see the peer dependency there is an update that npm version 1 2 and 7 will automatically install peer dependency if they are not explicitly dependent upon the higher in the dependency tree for npm version 3 and 6 3 through 6 will receive a warning right so let's see which version we are in right so i'll do npm minus v and as you can see we are in a 7th version that will not give the warning rather it will install the peer dependency you know automatically if you go to npm node module the react was a peer dependency for react dom so it has installed it automatically right let's try and test a uh, you know thing for example let me delete this particular node module folder let me delete this package.json folder as well and let me remove all of these dependencies from here right go back to clean project right I'll shift to another version of node where it will give me uh, a version of npm 
which will be not seven let let's bring it to you know three through six let let's go to that if i go ahead and find a version which is uh yeah this is the six version right let me install node 14 6 and 1 right i'll do nbm uh, install if you don't know how this nbm is coming we have already talked about this in you know installing npm video uh so we have configured this as well right just check out that and you'll get get to know how this npm is using and downloading uh this particular node uh folders and node versions right so let's wait for some time and we will see that this node version is also installed so it is downloading npm 6.14.12 as you see this particular node version brings this particular npm version right so npm download is complete installing npm 6.14.12 again it is a 6 version so it will give warning as you know said by this talk but let's try out try it out uh, let it install come on come on come on come on it's taking so much time like and to switch my laptop i guess like i have a mac device as well so probably next tutorial we'll try on that but for npm like let's use this only okay it's installed now what i'll do i use 14.16.1 version of node that will give me okay i have to open it like in in command prompt and let me open a admin cram command prompt so it doesn't give me any warning mm, yeah yes right okay so what i will do is i will go ahead and uh show you what i'm doing so i'll go ahead and set this version right to expand a bit yeah so let me go ahead and do nvm use 14.16.1 that was just into all now using this if i do nvm minus v now i might get the six six version for that uh npm minus v let us see yeah we have six version now right let us see in this terminal as well npm minus v generally it picks up from the environment variable and so we get the upgraded version here right so now let's do again let's do npm i react dom now it expected to give us a warning that peer dependency react did not install let's just see what happens and yep now it gives us warning that react dom 18.2 that was listed in the peer dependency of react dom requires is not installed none is installed you must install peer dependency yourself right so it depends upon npm version to install it but to make conclude this video as a library owner as a library developer you should be mentioning peer dependency that you expect your host app or whoever using your library needs to be having that particular uh, package or dependency so you mentioned that in peer dependency with that uh, i'll close this video thank you for watching if you are really you know getting some benefit with this particular videos in this series and pm series do consider subscribing like this video and i'll see you next time till then take care bye bye